Welcome to the Technology Showcase Tips and Tricks Drawings Edition. Now these are going to be tips and tricks on how to speed up the creation of drawings. Now I love to design, but probably my least favorite task is making 2D drawings. So we've created this segment all about how to speed up that process and give you access to some more advanced tools in creating those drawings. Now we're going to step into segment one, which is all about views. The first thing I want to talk about is projecting views. If I want to present project a view, I can do this here to this front view, but if I want to make a right hand view, one quick tip is I can actually double click on this one as long as my projected view is pinned and I can switch my primary view and then continue projecting views. The next thing is at any time I make this projected ISO view, it's locked to the 45. Now I can always click and let go of this but an easier way to do it is actually if I just press the control button, it will free it up, allowing me to move it and place it anywhere on the screen. This won't save you hours of your life, but it will save you a few seconds here or there. Now this part has a lot of smooth edges and companies will have different ways they want to handle those in a drawing. They may want to have very defined lines for the edges of those tangent edges. Um, some like a, a, a line style similar to a hidden line. So these are a standard in, going to be a standard in your company, and these are controlled by a system option. Now we can search for options, and most often I do, and we can click and find this tangent edges. So I have tangent edges set to visible, meaning they are hard lined. Now I can use different fonts, or I can remove tangent edges altogether. Now this setting controls tangent edges going forward, nothing that I've already created you can go into the right click menu to edit the tangent edges for this model. And if you see when I change this, you'll see all the tangent edges are removed from the model. Now I'm not in the train of removing them. I like having solid lines for those edges. That's just a quick way to set that up for your personal system. Now, just to make sure we all wear, I like having a shaded ISO view. Now this is really gonna help with manufacturing or assembly just to give them the three-dimensional profile of my object not just the two-dimensional views that I provide in the drawing and by clicking on this um, display style I can change that for any view but I especially do this on my ISO view. Now we're going to jump over to the assembly. Now this assembly is of a servo and servos have you know limits so I need to know my left hand limit on my mechanical drawing. And the easiest way to do that is with an alternate position view. So if I choose the view I wanna add that to, I will have at the top the alternate position view icon. By default, this will wanna create a new configuration or you can use an existing configuration. It'll now load the assembly in that view with the move component already activated. I'm gonna choose rotate about X, Y, Z. I'm gonna choose my component and I'm gonna say 45 degrees. If they hit apply, it'll move the arm to the 45 degree angle, and I'm going to accept that. It'll bump me back over to my drawing, and we can see here that I have my alternate position view already added. Now, at certain times, so we can see in this model that I'm missing a bushing. So if I zoom in here, we can see that I don't see that second concentric circle. So it may be handy at this point to actually open my assembly in position, meaning jump to my assembly view in the same view my drawing denotes. So by clicking this, it will load that view. Now this is handy if I see errors in my two-dimensional drawing and I want to identify those on my model. If I open in position, I will see almost an identical view on my model that I would see in my drawing. So here we can see that an, a bushing was missed during modeling or assembly and I would make note that that would have to be added um, before I finish this drawing. Now, I have an ISO view in my main page, but I also have this ISO sheet. Um, it would be probably really you know, handy to have my ISO view actually moved to that sheet or to copy it to that sheet. So one thing you have the ability to do at any time is to move views from one sheet to another, and you can do that in the tree here. So if I drag this to the ISO, you will see that I have the move to ISO. Now if I press control, you will see that icon changes. Now that is now co would copy the, this to the new ISO sheet. So if I let it go, it will just move the view there. 
And if I jump over to my ISO view, I will see that has moved to my new sheet. This is an easy way to add, sheet, or add views to sheets or move views to alternate sheets. Say if you break out a section view and it doesn't fit on a page, move it to another sheet in your drawing to free up space. Now the last thing I really need to touch on is display states. Display states inside SOLIDWORKS allow you to assign graphical properties to your model, um, say edges or not edges, colors. So in any model, you can assign different display states and in that view, you will have those accessible. So even though I have shaded with edges chosen, if I choose my display state, um, display state one in this case, it actually removes those hidden edges because this display state removes those and I've said use this display state. Thank you for watching our first segment of our Tech Showcase Tips and Tricks Drawings Edition. If you'd like more information about annotations and creating and editing those, you can click over here. And if you'd like to see productivity tools in SOLIDWORKS related to drawings, click over here. Thank you for watching.